Okay, so part laid out here for issue 81. Well, the parts we get in issue 81 anyway. It's the paddock stand wheels and part of the rear fairing, actually. Part of the rear fairing. I don't know why I'm random in this one. Um, but once again, yeah, it's staying in the packet because we're not using it on this particular issue. Um, yeah, going to keep that in the packet. We're going to be doing some more work on the rear end of the uh, bike like we were in the last one. Getting the suspension all uh, linked up, I believe. So that will stay in the pack for now and uh, we'll get on with the actual build for issue 81. Okay, so bring in the uh, motorcycle over now. Trying not to damage anything. Okay. I'm going from the right hand side again. Now you're having the right hand side to give easy access suspension, linkage, and swing arm. Take one of the type M screws. I need an M type M screw from the last, from issue 79, I believe it is. 79? Yeah, so this is one of the M screws. Okay, so. We've got the push rod here, which is from obviously the linkage. Now we need to do this one first. The push rod needs to be going in first. Okay. So. Right. I'm put the suspension on there. the push rod done and then a type N screw for the uh, suspension the main suspension and the bell crank snapped off again so both snapped off on both sides beautiful okay now we've got the brake um, brake disc sensor it's still, it's still difficult to move around it really is Okay, so we've got the brake disc sensor, which is going to go there. Now it has to go, so it's there. Yeah, that's going to sit in like that. It's going to sit in like that. It has got a D-shaped pin, I guess, or has it? It doesn't really matter. Just needed a bit of a, a hole opening up a little bit. And then that onto there. So that goes on, the sensor goes on, that goes on like that. So it's difficult to see, but yeah, hopefully you can see that now. It's just the rear. Um, yeah. Open the free end of the hose and so next then feed the free end of the hose through the hole next to the rear fender following the dotted yellow line. There's a hole in the fender. Oh yeah, there's a hole in the fender. And 
this goes into, I think there's a little on this side, is it? Finally, take, fit the free end hose coming from the brake caliper. Now open the free end of the hose a little with a toothpick so you can fit it onto the connector indicated by the yellow circle in the photograph. Finally fit the free end of the hose coming from the brake caliper. Okay, so this one goes into, where does this one go into? Oh, up to there, I think. Yes. Again. Finally fit the free end of the hose coming from the brake caliper. There's a pin and a brake, I get that, but how does it root? How do you root it? It doesn't show how to root it. And it can't go through there because that's already going through there. going through there because I will cut it. I don't know. Does it go up through the bottom? It really doesn't show it very well. No, it definitely doesn't go on the outside. And if, yeah, but if it goes up there, there's a, chance, there's a chance it could get caught on a wheel, I guess. No, it can't come up. I'm going to put it on there for now. So it's not glued on. And hopefully it might show in a future magazine how that gets rooted. But for now, let's see. Now I am missing two of these parts because they both snapped off. And I will be reattaching them at some point when I can. But uh, at the moment, they're off. I don't know, I don't know where to go. Actually. So that was issue 81 done there. Yep, yeah. connecting up the uh, rear suspension and the brake lines. Hopefully. Okay. Issue 82 is going to be all more work up. What we get, we get the chain fitted. Chain fitted, that'd be nice. Okay, yep, chain fitted. That's the main thing we're doing on this one. We are getting the paddock stand, uh, but we're getting the chain fitted in issue 82, and that'll be coming up soon.